So uh, I do want to just kind of say that this particular uh, course that we're doing right now, the DFY Live Masterclass, comes with unrestricted PLR rights, right? So you can do whatever you want with the recording. The only thing that uh, I say that you can't do is you can't use my name and uh, you can't use my voice for cloning. Uh, other than that, you can do pretty much whatever you want um, with this part of the recording. Now, I will say, uh, I'm going to just say briefly before we get into this here, is that um, here's why I do this. Um, I really uh, hope that people can do a weekly training because that really is sometimes the best way of being able to get people into your marketing funnel and to, and to engage them. So if you have a list, one of the things you want to do on a regular basis, preferably weekly, is to engage them in the weekly training. And so I give you basically the training whether you want to re-record it over in your own voice or you want to use my voice and let it play, I take out all the personal references so that you can have a, a weekly training and you use that weekly training um, to give a call to action. Re very simple. You know, bring, you know, invite your people someplace where you, it can be on YouTube, it can be on social media, it can be on a webinar. Um, you're just going to play the recording and then you're going to put the call to action there for people to buy the course. So you want to get that course set up on your domain and then you just let this webinar play and then you then uh, give them a call to action at the end. You know, whether you stick it on there or you just uh, annotate, you know, the session and you annotate it with the call to action where people can buy your course. Of course, you know, it's you can use it as a bonus. So if you do affiliate promotions, you could use it as a bonus. It would be a little much to do that. I don't think you should do that. But certainly, again, the rights are unrestricted, so you can do that. Um, you can use it as its own product and an upsell. So you're getting, you know, you get the sales pages. You can do that with the do, do that with the recording. And you know, if you just want to redo it in your own voice, you can do that. And it's one of the few times that I really do say that, you know, if you want to redo this one, I don't recommend you redo tutorial videos. These I do. I think you can and I think you should redo them in your own voice, do them live in front of an audience and then and then invite people to buy the course. Now, again, you may not want to present live. and I know not everybody wants to do that. And so in that case, you can just let my voice play. Um, or you could just give people the PowerPoint presentation. You let somebody else read it on your behalf. And uh, you could record them to read it, or you could let them get on a webinar, and then they could do it. Um, you could take it and remake it in Pictory. Now, that's a bit of a process, but it can be done. And maybe one day I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so, But you could take this entire course. What you would do, depending on what, what kind of account you have, you could break this into two pieces and then redo both pieces in Pictory. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take those two pieces and uh, either splice them together or just deliver them as two pieces, right? But you can remake this entire thing in Pictory. Or you can sell your own course. If you're going to sell the Canva course, let's say that you're going to offer the Canva course as is, you could take this strategy session and you could add this as a bonus. So in other words, you could say, well, I'm not going to sell this at, you know, whatever the regular price is. I'm going to raise a price a little bit and I'm going to add this strategy session along with everything else that people are getting in addition to the video course. That, th these are things that you could do um, with the with the PLR. So that having been said, let's talk about Canva AI Advanced. Uh, Canva AI Advanced. And I'm going to talk first about PSD files. I may have you may have heard this before.